Hey everybody. I saw a meme on Facebook. It was like um, a statistical meme about how America imprisons more folks than like Germany and Switzerland and all these other countries. And that is a reason for concern, but it got me to thinking, um, isn't it more concerning to look at our own statistics here and how much race is an obvious player? Now, racism is alive and well, and anyone who says that it's not is probably racist, or they are a person that is generally, they're of a race that's generally looked down upon, but they've managed to succeed despite all the obstacles, and good for them, really. But that doesn't, um, that doesn't change the fact that racism is alive and well. Uh, I looked at some statistics tonight and found that well, let me just start by saying that I, I have a I have a racism story. I've experienced racism. A lot of white people have. They just don't realize it's racism. They don't even realize it. Uh, and it's not even reverse racism where like a white person hates their race. It's not that. This goes way back. I've had this happen, similar stuff several times in my life. And it's always stuck with me because that's just me. That's the way I think. Um, and certain things will stick with me, but I had my kids, they were little, Shane wasn't born yet, my youngest one, and um, I'm thinking my son was probably two, maybe, so it was right before I got pregnant with my daughter Shane, but I was at the mall with my daughter, who's older, she's two and a half years older, and this mall was Tower Mall in Portsmouth, Vir Virginia. I was waiting behind these two young ladies that had their kids with them. These girls were really young and they had little kids. Um, they had uh, two kids. I think one was one, one was the others. And they were getting cookies at the cookie kiosk. I can't remember what the name of the store was now. It's been a long time ago. This was like 94, 94, I'm thinking. Um, but I'm behind this girl waiting my turn with my two kids. But the lady behind the counter, was one of these elderly white chicks and had her hair up in the the beehive hairdo that you wrap in TP before bed every night, like back in the day. And when she, I, I was watching the girls pick out what they wanted and give, you know, for their kids and they looked good. I was like, that's, that sounds good. I was like, you guys want those? And they were like, yeah. So uh, it came my turn and I said, I wanted those same ones and she goes oh honey you don't want those I went yes I do <clears throat> and she went no those are old those are from like two days ago and I went you sold them to them and she went well yeah I'm not gonna let you feed them to your kids <laughs> and um, I don't need to say anything more about that I didn't buy any cookies, and I left, and the kids were mad, but we went to the other end of the mall and got them something else. Well, I did. I was with them by myself, and that bothered me. That's been a long time ago. My son is now 21 years old, and my daughter's 24. I'm still bothered by that incident. That was the most humiliating, disgusting experience of racism I had felt up to that point. I was sick. I was sick. Um... What what an old bitch. <laughs> so anyway, that was my experience with racism, where I was pandered to because I was of the right race. You know, I was just lily white enough. And it made me sick to my stomach that I was so lily white. And this woman saw me as better than those two young girls who were feeding these two-day-old cook cookies to their kids. Oh, it was so disgusting. So... Anyway, that's my experience one experience with with racism, and I got I got black family. I got relatives that are black. I got relatives married to black, you know, to black or whatever, and I'm okay with that because that's they're good people. I mean, these are good people. There's no no reason to see past the past that to anything else. They're good folks, so. I got relatives that will say the N-word in front of the children, the mixed-race kids, and I'm disgusted when I hear it, and I'm like, no, what are you doing? They're right there. They can hear you. Oh, well, you know, there's a difference. 
You've got your black people, then you got your inners. <laughs> and now you've made those children have to decide for the rest of their life if they're a black person or an N-word. You know, common sense just doesn't fall out of my family tree very often. Um, I'm very thankful for my father. That man is loaded with common sense. I mean, he's he will amaze you. He amazes me every time I think back to things about him. But, um, yeah, so I deal with that, and I don't anymore. But, I mean, I did, and it's just, it's, so. Uh, so I got to looking at some statistical stuff, and um, I'm disgusted <laughs> because so many of the people incarcerated right now, you know, not in jail, but in prison, are black. A lot. Um, as of 2013, wait a minute, this one's 2014. As of June 2014, there are 59.4% of the people in prison are white. 37.1% of them are black. And, okay, so we got 59.4% white, 37.1% black. And you're like, well, okay, there you go. Well, no, you don't go. Because what it comes down to is also this. That's a staggering number. Considering that of our total country population, 62.6% .6 of mm -hmm. us are white. We identify as being white. 62.6. .6. Those that identify as black in the census, 13.2. 62.6, 13.2. It's quite a far cry gap compared to the inmates. Now, uh, of that 13.2, how many of them are jailable age? You know what I'm saying? How many of them are old enough to be able to go to jail? Uh, you got to consider that. And I don't have the numbers for that. I did look, but I really didn't know how to, what I'm looking for, how to word it to find the numbers. Uh, I wish I could, and I probably will do a follow-up eventually because sometimes uh, a racial fire gets lit under my ass and it just sends me into a spin cycle in my mind of, of the wrong, the wrong involved in it. And you've got a staggering yeah. number of that 13.2% of the population in prison, in prison, compared to the 62.6% .6 white population that's in prison. And I don't think I'm going to need a statistic for this one. A lot of you will need to see statistics. And then once you see the statistics, if they don't agree with the way you already think, you're going to disregard them. And I can tell you that I'm getting all of this from a .gov site. This is a government site. All of this is government sites. And I'll put the links down below. Um, and you will say, well, of course the government's going to say that. They're, they're full of cover-ups. Okay, everything's a conspiracy. Shut the fuck up. Um, you're going to uh, you're going to think what you want. Unless you do just, you know, I catch you looking at the video that I'm putting up right now. When you just have that soft spot in your heart that comes out about as often as Haley's Comet does. And um, you decide to look at things for what they really are. Now... It's easy to say, well, there's a lot of blacks in prison because there's a lot of blacks breaking laws. Or you can look at the fact that the headlines are full of a black guy committing a crime and then a white guy committing the same crime and getting probation. Or because he comes from his lily white high class background because of his mom and dad, um, he gets preferential treatment. This is a fact. I would find the facts, but for those of you who don't want to hear it anyway, you're just going to disregard the facts too, like I say, um, unless I catch you on an upswing. Um, so this is my this is my rant about the numbers and how, and, and the, the new thing is, oh, it's black on black crime. Well, you've got to realize that uh, the majority of the black population has been pushed into an affordable area that they can live in. Um, <laughs> so they're interacting with each other more than they are the rest of the population of their area. 
where they feel like they're outsiders, even though they've probably lived there longer than most of the white people in the area. Uh, just something to ponder. Um, if you really want to look at the numbers and quit looking at memes and look at the numbers, the numbers don't lie. The numbers are there. Just rely on the sources. Make sure your sources are good ones. The dot govs, the dot govs are going to be accurate because they're going to be held accountable. That's a government. That's a government statistic. I and they, hiccups. but you know, look at your uh, statistics, make sure that you can rely on them. They make sure they're dot gov. If dot gov is available, use it. If you can't find the dot gov sites to, you know, it's kind of hard to maneuver through the internet. If you cannot find the dot gov sites and you find a site that has a dot gov source, use that. I mean, you want to make sure it's not a left or right or black or white, because I've seen some left-leaning websites. The numbers are completely off the charts. They're so wrong. Their, their numbers are going to lean to where they want them to be a lot of times, and the right wing is just as bad. The problem with, with the, uh, the right wing ones is that um, they tend to shy away from actual numbers, even tweaked ones when it comes to the race thing. They just ignore the subject altogether. Um, if they do confront the subject, it's to point out all the evils and bad of the black people that are in jail. They did this, 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 this. They focus on things that are going to, you know, and yeah, it is right wing. I'm not saying that if you're a Republican, you're a racist, but if you're a racist, you're probably a Republican. No, you're you're a Republican. If you're or you're a libertarian, those are the other ones that think that they're rebels. They think that they're standing for something that the rest of the country's not. Ugh, shut up. So anyway, um, I'm being super nice on this video, and I don't know why because it really pisses me the fuck off, and I really want to go like banana sandwich with the country when it comes to this. But it is what it is. Um, I do with it what I can, you know, I'm one person. Uh, if there's a rally in my area for rights or wrongs, <laughs> and I can make it, I do. But there's rarely rallies in my area. I mean, I've known of two, and I went to both of them. And one was for Trayvon Martin, and which was flat wrong. I don't care if you're racist or not. You switch the races on that, and you're going to be all over it. The other one was for uh, gay rights, which was sponsored by a friend of mine in Rocky Mount. And I went to that, and me and my husband, and we took our grandson. It was a really a refreshing thing to be a part of, uh, civil rights, equal rights, constitutional rights, regardless of the reason. Rights are rights, and it just felt good. So anyway, this is, this is my rant about race. I'm disgusted with America more and more every day with the loudmouths on the right with Palin and Bachman and uh, there's just too many. There's Christine O'Donnell. There's too many. They're idiots. And there's people out there that are actually listening to them. And it's like, you know, they don't believe them. They're just glad someone of some stature is saying what they already think. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for listening to my shit hit the red button below and uh, hang out with me some more and everyone have a really good night. Bye.